it's a lot easier to clip in a pair or in a three, just from the monotonous boredom side. You've got a bit of banter and you've got somebody to talk to, or if you fall over, you've got someone to land on. I've been clipping with Tom for 11 years, 11 seasons. I did have a full head of hair before he started <laughs> clipping with us, but it's all gone now. <laughs> We're clipping uh, mule, mule hogs, what we call hogs, which are lambs that were born last year. So this is their first, first shear. They'll now be called shearlings because they've been clipped once. And every year after that, they're called either a one shear, two shear, three shear, or four shear. Often they're killed off before then. They're in a mutton pie. I was never going to clip sheep. When I was working for the people, I always said I was never going to do it because it was hard work. It provides us with an extra income so we don't starve to death. I'm a farmer myself. I have a wife and two kids, third one on the way, and mum and dad live next door, but they're retired. My sister has a tea room on the farm as well. So if you like scones, come and see them. <laughs> uh, we charge for clipping a sheep £1.10 this year, and the male sheep are double, because they're a lot bigger and can be a lot more awkward. It's a very good year if we do 16,000, which means you have to be clipping just about every day. So it's normally sort of 13 to 14. And I'm happy with that in two months. We're just amateur, amateur clippers who do it for a bit of extra cash. Just going off the top of my head, reading the book that a swale ale is 20 pence a kilo for the best quality swale ale wool. These sheep here probably won't pay for the clipping. It's just something that has to be done. As the season goes on, it, it gets a little bit easier. 
and we can maybe clip more sheep in the deer without feeling like death warmed up. Hopefully. Start of the season so you get tired quicker and know that you've had a big day. But other than that, I'm happy. <laughs>